Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. Time to sand the wave attachment holes. I would strongly suggest you get this stuff. Comes in a variety of grits. I usually use 180 and 320. Just sits right here on a nail. Okay. I put the thing down in the jig. Okay. I just got a little thing. It just holds it in place. Normally I have my dust collector going, but you would not be able to hear me if I did. I'm still going to put my face shield on. Uh, what you do is you tear off a piece of that tape, and then you can literally just take it in your two hands and tear it in strips. Okay? About probably about a sixteenth, uh, three sixteenths of an inch wide. Just lining up the bucket below it. What I do is I feed it through. This one is a top, a top feed with an angled hole. And then I just go down through the hole. Sometimes it takes a little while to monkey it around and get it in the right place. Okay. It's not always polite about it. Yeah, let's start with the other, the vertical. And let's feed through the top. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, now I'll get you a close up and see how it's fed through. Okay, comes out the bottom. And literally, you just, okay, kind of hold this one straight and this one straight through the holes for now because you're trying to create the trough first. Once you create the trough, you can see there's a lot of dust. I'm not going to do too much more. Once you create the trough, then you can kind of move this piece of sandpaper around to bevel the hole, okay, so that the hole doesn't rub on the thing wrong, okay? And then you do the same for the other hole. Now, what I want you, want you to see is look, look how quickly a trough developed, okay, to hold your bands, to hold your tubes. You just keep working that, keep sanding until you get it the way you want it. And in the end, that, that's, that's really all I do. I keep sanding it, and then once I get it to where I want it, I put the 320 on and clean it up, polish it up nice. Occasionally... I have to pull out my Dremel with the uh, diamond, diamond, uh, diamond uh, sharpened ball tip on it, you know, because there might be one spot in the trough that you can't quite get. You just a little bit. Use it sparingly. Use it gently. Remember, uh, five minutes of sanding might save you three hours of having to cut another template and do all the drilling and all of that because you were in too much of a rush. Just remember that, okay? Hope this makes sense. Take care.